All right, so now that we have everything working, it's now time to realign, firstly, realign all these bones to sort of sit exactly where they once were. And the other thing, of course, is to uh, start to figure out how to get the deform rig to follow one or the other of our controllers. So we have our FK controllers doing one thing, which allows us to get sort of a hierarchical manipulation of our joints. This is forward kinematics as you see fit. All right. And then we have the other control scheme, which is our IK, which allows us to manipulate from this point, like so, from the bottom of the chain. So we want to be able to switch between them. And we also need to have this thing drive, be driven by the rig. So, okay. So now it's time to line everything back up to where they need to be. Um, so this made it, the reason why we did this is just so we can actually isolate and just see how everything's working in context with one another. So now it's actually time to sort of bring it back into line so we can start to mechanically make it all work. So what we need to do, we need to move everything into place without there being any offsets. So what we're gonna do is hide away the geo for now. And we're just gonna create some basic parenting groups to uh, work with. So starting off, I'm gonna make a giant uh, one, big locator. Let's give it a value of like six or something. I don't know. Great. And for now, I might actually give it a color override too, just to make it clear that what we were doing is uh, manipulate. This is going to be like sort of like a parent object. So I'm going to turn on, go to my attribute editor, turn on enable overrides and give it a color that's really distinct. So basically something like a yellow or a pink or something like that. Just something that we can help us distinguish what we need to do. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and hold down snapping and snap it to basically the root of every joint chain. So duplicate, snap, duplicate, snap, duplicate, snap. And do that at the back as well on the FK chains. So with all those in mind, don't worry about any of the, um, ah, I'd say, yeah, let's go ahead and freeze those transforms on those as well. Great. And let's just give it a, the appropriate label. So for each one, let's see, this one is the IK one. So let's go ahead and call that, um, uh, Let's go lock parent. So actually OIG parent. Yeah, OIG IK parent leg. All right, something like that, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing along the, the chain here, along the list here. This one will be uh, FK in this case. Oh, this one's right. Making sure that the naming conventions are all accurate. So in this case, it will be um, IK. And like so, there we go. And now basically we're just gonna just parent everything accordingly. So we have our MCH IK joint chain. We have our control set up like so. And uh, then we also have our constraints. So we'll worry about those in a minute. I think that should be fine as they are, but those are the ones we want to move into our leg group like so. So now if we move the leg group, we should be able to manipulate it accordingly. So I've actually put the wrong leg in there. So um, unparent that and make sure that's nice and clean. So that would be 
this one. Let's chuck it in there. So now we can actually move the entire component together. So let's go ahead and make sure that that's working. So grab the thigh for this one. It'll be the leg for this one. And that should be enough. Move that into the right side. Do a little test. Great, that's all good. Let's grab the arms now. So the arms are a little bit trickier because they have those pole vectors, but for the um, the F case, that will be fine. So this one will be, um, where are we now? This one here. Of course, I uh, haven't named things properly, so I'm making sure that's nice and named properly. Um, we have our, where are we? Oh, they're all the way up here. So we have our FK group here. So let's go ahead and grab the um, FK parent controls over here and move them into our FK control group like so. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and parent them accordingly. So upper arm will go into FK arm. So there we go, those two there. They will go into this group here. FK upper arm and the FK upper arm joint chain that will go into the appropriate group here. So that one there, that one there, like so, great. FK thigh and thigh MCH goes into here. This one here, this one here goes into here. And now we should be able to manipulate that as a whole. That's going well, great. That's going great, great, yep. And then we have our legs, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Next thing to do is the arms. So basically we got our parents here, they're working fine. Let's grab the upper arm L, the OIG um, L, and then we have to get the pole vector as well. So grab that too and put that into the parent arm L like that. So there we have it going well. Fantastic. All right, cool. Next one to do is the last but not least, those three there like so. And now we can put all of those into our control IK group. There we go. So now we have all that set working out. That's working as is. That's working as is. Working and working. Fantastic. Save that. All right. So next thing to do is um, we need to line these all up. And this should be pretty simple. So now we've got all these um, locators in place. We can actually just go ahead and snap them to the appropriate sec section. So we're going to grab, say, this one here, turn on point snapping. So V on your keyboard, hold down V, snap. Grab this one, hold down V, and snap. You can see there's a few offsets there with the IK, but that's unavoidable in a way, I guess. Not unavoidable, just more annoying to fix up. There we go there. Like so. We've got this one here. There we go. Interestingly, the um, the uh, <laughs> the actual group here is actually the actual original deform group is not uh, aligned up. That's all right. We'll fix it up as we need to. All right. So um, grabbing the OIG parent. Let's just move that into place. like so. Oh, wrong one. Make sure you line it up with the right part. So the upper arm, there we go. That's looking really good. That's looking really good. That's looking perfect. You can see just how close they are for the most part. Now the IK is always going to be a little bit off, I think with this setup, but overall they're all lined up. Let's go ahead and just clean things up a little bit and see what we have. We have um, our IK. FK and IK are pretty much lined up perfectly, which is 
just what we want. So perfect there. So you can see how well it is lined up. You can barely see the overlap. It's just the IK that are always a little bit slightly off. And that's just down to the way that the pole vectors are being generated. Now, there would be ways to sort of tighten that up a little bit, but for our purposes, I think it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's how we've lined it all up. That's great, working well. And if these arms were like dead straight and the legs were dead straight, it, you'd run into these issues a lot less, but yeah, that's all right. We'll, we'll survive basically. And these aren't deforming the rig anyway. You're just gonna get a slight little wobble when the, um, the FK and IK are turned on. All right, cool. So there we have it. All working. Everything's lined up. That's great. Save the file. And that's it for now.